home and the past five years on average there's been at least 10 shax fires in the country leaving one person dead every time a company in cape town might have found a solution to the country's shack fires transception established the kusele kaya project with the aim to prevent rapid spreading shack fires through the use of a specially formulated fire retardant spray paint that is applied to informal dwellings the paint is water-based and eco-friendly and has received the global green tag certification that makes it conducive to the well international green marketplace now from our studios in cape town we are joined by justin zitzman who's the ceo of transception the business who put forward the paint good morning to you justin thanks for joining us good morning thank you Evan. Justin, just tell us the, what inspired you at Kusilikaya Project to, uh, to come up with this initiative. Well, Evan, we, uh, I'm quite passionate about the fact of seeing people based in informal settlements, living in their homes and then reading the newspaper and picking it up and seeing that, you know, there's another shack fire that has occurred. And, you know, nothing seems to be done on that level. It always seems to be rather a reactive situation than a proactive situation. So what we did was we went and developed a paint uh, which we thought could assist with the prevention of shack fires. Because, as you know, the loss of life and the loss of uh, house means quite a lot of expenses for different municipalities and for, and for the city of Cape Town. Justin. Cape Townians in general, are they as passionate about people dying in shack fires in the townships as they are about Feinbos burning on the mountain? Well, that's a very interesting question that you ask. Um, on Mandela Day, I would think that I was convinced that we had a, a drive over there where we invited people out from the city to come and join us because we identified a community called Vakabiki, which is in the, the Numzamo informal settlement. And we had more than 250 volunteers, and these people were just walking through the community, and they were painting, and it was such a jovial day. I really think that the people and the city is definitely on board now. And after yesterday's test that we've done uh, at, uh, at Epping Fire Services, we've now officially got the buy-in from the city of Cape Town as well. Tell me about this paint. It's eco-friendly, which makes it quite interesting, and it's water-based, so uh, it, 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 it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a nice mix, the technical specs of it. That is correct, yes. I mean, we were specifically looking for paint that is eco-friendly, is low VO, and, um, you know, it's, it's eco-friendly and it's not harmful to animals and harmful to people. So this paint is it's a, it's a water-based paint, and... What it does is it's, it's, it's fire resistant or fire retardant and it's intumescent. The fire retardant, the purposes of it, what it basically does, it, it blows the carbon dioxide, gives off and kills the flames. And also then the intumescent is a carbon layer that forms so that when the fire heats onto the heat, it forms a carbon layer. And then all that happens is the fire just dies down from there. How is it going to be rolled out? You say you're talking to the city now. How is it going to be rolled out? And, and what's the kind of cost that, that, that we're looking at? I find normally these kind of products, uh, you know, it can be quite expensive. That is correct, yes. Um, uh, what is going to happen from here is a, uh, the report is now going to be given from fire services from the, from the engine chief. And it's going to be given to uh, J.P. Smith. And then what we will be doing is we'll be sitting down with the MAKO committee within the next month, uh, within the next week or two. And what's going to happen then is we're going to have to give to a presentation and say that, look, we know that there's other initiatives like with the solar gas stoves or solar heaters or solar lights. And we've then got to say why our initiative works better than, um, than the other initiatives that is out there, which we don't really have an issue with. So what we would like to do is to say is that where we are currently at sitting at right now is we'd like to work with government, but we'd like to do the beautification aspect with this as well, where we say we're going to be painting the roofscapes. We've partnered up with Heart 104.9 FM as our media partner for our event at Mandela Day. So what we're going to be doing is currently we now have got 34 people in Bakabiki community painting the roof, and then we'll be painting the red art there on. So our appeal is also to speak to any corporate like a Vodacom or MTN or SAB, 
see or anybody is that we'd like to make uh, of the beautification of the roof aspects and then we can also give the city some money back as well then because that's the most important thing it all boils down to price at the end of the day no, and no. the cost of it we're talking about is between one and one and a half thousand per informal home um, the paint normally costs between three and a half thousand and five thousand for 20 liters so it's the price that we've managed to bring down Justin, I thank you for joining us. We could talk about this a whole lot more, but unfortunately we've run out of time. It's a fantastic initiative and it's much needed. Uh, I always argue with the guys in Cape Town, when the shacks burn, you should be as passionate as you are when the faint horse burns because people actually lose their lives. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you very much. Justin Zitzman, thank you uh, much, who is, uh, well, who heads up the Kuselikaya project in Cape Town and they've come up with this fire retardant spray that's going to, well, that's going to make it a lot less dangerous to, in winter, to live in an informal settlement, especially in Cape Town where we see every year dozens of people die in shack fires. We move on, as we always do. How can South Africans work 